The new NVIDIA and AMD GPUs just barely moved one step closer towards actually releasing. Now the information that I am getting was posted over on the Digital Trends website and it ends up stating the following. Next generation AMD and NVIDIA GPUs just barely moved one step closer to launch. The upcoming next generation NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards have just barely registered at the Eurasian Economic Commission EEC, bringing them one step closer towards actually launching. Although this doesn't mean that all of the listed GPUs will launch this year in 2022 or at all, it does give us some insight into what exact models that AMD and Nvidia may be readying for their new lineups. There's also a hidden surprise that shows Nvidia may not be quite done with the RTX 30 series GPUs just yet. The EEC is a trademark registry and because of that, it often serves as source of product leaks. There's no guarantee that all of the listed products will make it to the market, but the registry works as an indication that the manufacturer is likely to be working on these products. We've seen several EEC leaks in the past and usually the major of the products end up being released. Even so, until AMD and Nvidia confirm these, it's best to maintain a little bit of skepticism. The registration comes from AFOX or AFOX, a partner for both AMD and Nvidia, which seemingly plan to produce custom versions of these cards. The company makes other kinds of PC hardware aside from graphics cards, including motherboards, power supply units, and storage. This time, a Fox seems to be getting ready to work a long list of AMD and Nvidia graphics cards. First spotted over on Twitter by leaker Harukes5719, the EEC listing includes the full range of Nvidia's next generation RTX 40 series ADA Lovelace or ADA Lovelace graphics cards and this means the following GPUs. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 4090 Ti the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, 4080 Ti, 4080, 4070 Ti, 4070, 4060 Ti, 4060, 4050 Ti, and 4050. The RTX 4090 Ti has been the subject of some speculation. This intensely powerful GPU might instead be a continuation of NVIDIA's RTX Titan series as opposed to a RTX TI. We're going to go ahead and skip the other fluffy paragraph. And the next thing is the AMD lineup. The company has snubbed AMD on the contrary. It registered about every AMD GPU variant possible. And this includes the following AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT, 7900, 7800 XT, 7800, 7700 XT, 7700, 7600 XT. 7600, 7500 XT, and 7500. Yes, just like NVIDIA GeForce RTX, AMD Radeon RX was before all those numbers. When I bought that ASUS laptop that had an AMD CPU and an AMD GPU inside of it, the software from AMD was very confusing for me. Like the way they had everything laid out and the way that they did everything was just extremely confusing and you had to like really search for whatever it is that you were looking for so i'm very excited for the for the new amd gpus but i'm more so excited for nvidia's gpus just because nvidia's control panel geforce now their share play or shadow play and like literally overclocking nvidia they're like everything nvidia is very self-explanatory and very simple for me to understand. So I'm actually very, very excited for the new 4000 series GPUs, but let me know what you're gonna be getting for the next generation GPU. Are you gonna be going AMD or are you going to be going Nvidia? AMD's like, dude, PC wise, they're, they're new, AMD's new CPUs for PC are crazy. They're amazing, but uh, it really just, that was my first, AMD anything and it left a pretty sour taste in my mouth because I've always had Intel and I've always had Nvidia so I'm very familiar with those and 
unlike big, big, big channels that get sent all these review units, I actually paid the $2,500 for that laptop. So that is why I returned it. <laughs> and I didn't take the time to actually review it because that is a lot of money to just spend on something and not like it. And that is why I bought this Razer laptop with the RTX 3080 Ti in it because that is what I am familiar with and it also has an Intel CPU. And for anybody that's wondering why would I buy a laptop, it is because I gave away my PC to a subscriber. So I do not have my PC anymore, but I need something to make content with and I wanted a laptop. I didn't just give my PC away because for no reason. I actually did want to, a laptop and for me as a self-employed business owner, this like me giving that pc away that is a tax write-off so i would rather give that away to somebody and pay less in taxes rather than keep it sell it and pay more in taxes as is me i would i would much rather have somebody else get something awesome somebody supporting the channel rather than me paying money to the government just saying just saying <laughs> But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out one of these videos that are on screen. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.